Hello YouTube, this is Black Brother 6021 here, coming at you with the first video of my next series. So it's not a deck profile, this is the first of my next, of my new ser of the next little series of, of another series I'm starting here on my channel, called Underrated Architects. Now let me give a shout out here to, uh, Team APS Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, if you haven't checked the channel, check it out. Check, you know, see not ch his channel, check it out. Um, yeah, uh, basically gave me the idea to do this video, well, this series, because, you know, they did a video on their channel that was entitled, you know, Top 10 Underrated Archetypes of the Meta, you know, 2014. Um, anyway, when I got to, when I saw the video, I got to thinking of, you know, some of the archetypes I've used, some I, I didn't think about, you know, some I'm like, huh, let's talk about some archetypes that I personally think are underrated, you know? Pretty sure we all want to hear about, you know, what everyone likes to think is underrated, you know, what can do well. Particularly with, you know, some of the new support that came out with some of the new archetypes, like Hazy Flames, for example. So, anyways, this series is going to be about, uh, you know, archetypes I think are underrated, archetypes, you know, people I know think are underrated. Because, you know, I won't be the only one doing discussions here, potentially. I might have some of my uh, friends doing some discussions on these, on the you know, archetypes that they think are underrated. But, you know, let's the video started, and, you know, let's start the series off. Um, you know, I'd like to hear what you think about the art, uh, the series, about the series, you know, what archetypes you think are generally underrated in the current meta. Um, give me examples, and tell me what you want me to cover next. Anyway, so let's get this video started. So, now we're covering Hades Flames for this, and Hades Flames are pretty good, you know, group monsters, you know, one of these, um, Seven monsters. I've only got, you know, six of the main deck monsters here because I don't have the seventh one, which is one that just came out in Primal Origin. The new support and only support that Hastings has gotten since uh basically the the Hastings first came out. Um anyways. Let's get this started. Anyway, so what we're gonna do first is first cover the monsters. Um, then we're gonna go on to the spells, traps, you know, some of the support, you know, the Z's monster. And, you know, we'll cover the new support, too, that they just got. Anyways, first off, uh, first monster we're gonna cover is gonna be Ace Flame Hippogriff. Anyway, Ace Flames, let me just cover the monsters in general here first. Um, Ace Flames are all a bunch of level 6 fire attribute monsters. Um, usually with attack, you know, north of 2000, uh, with well, usually with attack that's, you know, pretty high. I mean, you know, there's some that don't have high attack and some that have low attack. There's, but again, there's only like seven monsters in the uh, main monster. Well, seven uh, main deck cage slim monsters. And those monsters are such. First one is Hippogriff. Um, oh, I didn't cover this. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> again, first video of the series, so. Do apologize. Um, something else you should know about hate slims. Uh, all the all the monsters, in the main deck at least, uh, have this have one effect in common. Together. They all have a bunch of varying effects, but there's one effect they all have in common, and that is they cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. So, oh, anyways, um, let's get this through. Uh, anyways, Hazel and Hippogriff, probably considered the weakest and most useless of the Hazel Flame monsters. 200 defense, 2100 attack, only effect other than the original, you know, the typical Hazel Flame effect. Is that uh, once per turn you can tribute one uh, one other fire monster, and it gains three, and this card gains three hundred attack. It's a permanent gain, but again, you know you don't necessarily want to tribute go the fire type monsters to do that. And this is why Hippogriff is sometimes considered the weakest card. Uh, reasons to run it, you know, two hundred defense. You know, you can run rekindling with the deck. Because it has a target for rekindling, you can run Flamebell Fire Dock and other Flamebell cards because it's a target for them. Which, you know, can support cards to run. I'll uh, discuss here. Uh, next card, uh, Hazy Flame Sphinx. Good card to run in any, any Hazy Flame deck. Uh, 1900 attack in defense. You know, main effect is that, you know, once per turn, declare a card type. Uh, you send the top card of your, you know, Monster Spot Trap. You send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. And if the if that card is the same type as the type declared, then you get to special summon a fire attribute monster from your hand or graveyard. Very good card. I actually say you can run in pretty much any fire deck, not just Hazy Flames, and it can work well. The only issue is, um, and it's a gamble. 
say you don't want this because you can't send them as not you know a card you need like say your solemn morning or your or mirror force or your deep prison or, or another card that you really could have used for the next turn so the card can be a bit of a gamble and it can backfire on you um, particularly when you don't get that card type right um, that really does hurt uh, you know, usually, you know, you just declare whatever, you know, if you really want device on the cards, you know, whatever type of build you build, if you tell me monsters, declare monster, heavy spell, etc. You know, whatever type, whenever you build your deck, you know, whatever card is more prevalent, monster, spell, trap, that's the card type you're going to want to declare the most, because that's what you're probably going to send to the graveyard. Again, just minimize your chances, your odds of losing with it. It's a good card, but it has its drawbacks, that's why I say it. That's why I personally run to if you've seen my video of my Hazel and Fire Knight. Alright, next card. Uh, Griffin. Griffin, um, pretty fast one. You know, it's a fact is very similar to Cyber Dragons. If your opponent controls a monster, and if you control any monster or have any monster in your graveyard, and, well, actually, let me rephrase this. Rephrase that. Um, and as long as all monsters on your field and in your graveyard, if there are any, because there doesn't have to be, uh, are fire and only fire attribute, you get to use special summon Griffin here from your hand. Um, upside, fast card, real good way to quickly go into your uh, rank 6 plays, because Daisy Flames are rank 6 spam, in essence. Um, downside is very low attack, you know, with only 200 points. Uh, if you know, if you know, bring out a non-fire Xyz like Photon Strike Bouncer, for example, this card can be such a dead draw because you're almost never gonna normal summon it without you know by tributing. Well, you will never normal summon it by tributing. You'll never set it. You almost never set it by tributing. Um, Hazy Pillar and Hazy Glory can let you summon it, but why? Why would you really want to normal summon it with it only has 200 attack? Because it's not really a great defense. Only reason I can say that you would is to go and do it Xyz quick, but I'd say you're better off using uh, Paradon to bring it out or pitching this card for Blaster or something. In that case, again, the card's situational. It has its uses. It can make your deck move faster, but you know, since a lot of rank 6 Xyz aren't fire, the card can uh, come back to bite you in late game. Um, next card. Paradon. Staple. Uh, you must run this in any Hazy Flame build, in my opinion. Um, it's the best way to get your Hazy Flames out there. You know, its effects uh, cannot be special except by a Hazy Flame monster's effect, so basically sinks. Um, you can send one Fire Monster from your hand and tribute Paradon, or just special summon two Hazy Flame monsters from your deck. Yeah, so essentially, you know, you use this monster to quickly spam you know, quickly get out two hastening monsters and basically then, if you want to, go and do a instant rank 6. All depending on what you bring out. It's a good way to get your Sphinx out there quickly, it's a good way to bring out Cerebus quick, Mana, um, Hydra, because Hydra, as, as I'll discuss then, uh, Griffin, if you don't, if it, it, cause, you know, you've got a f non-fire monster in your graveyard, you don't really want to draw into Griffin, go ahead and get your Griffins out there and it feeds into them. Yeah, it's a good card. I uh, do you recommend running three. Uh, next card, Hazy Flame Mana Core. This is something I personally very much like. Uh, quite 200 attack, 300 defense. Uh, main effect is the fact that, you know, once per turn during I player's turn, send a fire monster from your hand or center of the field to the graveyard, and it cannot be destroyed by card effects this turn. You don't have to do that, you can. Um, good way to get around cards like Dark Hole, Torrent Tribute, Bottomless. That's why I like the card personally, because not only can it not be targeted by your opponent's card effects, but you can also make it so it can't be destroyed by card effects. You know, there's some good combos with it in Dark Hole if you really want to use them. Again, a uh, good card. I personally like it. Uh, next monster. Hazelim Cerebus. Um, 2000 attack, 200 defense, so it is a rekindling and flame of fire dog target. Uh, you can normal summon it without tributes. And its attack, but if you do, its original attack becomes a thousand. Uh, when it's destroyed, uh, it's sent to the graveyard. You can then special summon. Sorry, not special summon. Sorry, add to your hand one hazy card from your deck. 
a good card to run, pretty much as the way you search out your Hazy Pillar and Hazy Glory, because uh, those are the main cards you really need to search out with this card to make sure your Hazy Bliss. Um, next monster we're going to talk about is a monster I don't have, personally. I want to get it. It's a monster that just came out in Prime Origins, Hazy Swim Hydra. Uh, I, its effects are you know, 20 engine attack, 200 defense, so we can loom target. Dinosaur type. Uh, while you control it, this monster, you can only uh, special summon fire attribute monsters. Uh, when it's used as an Xyz trail for an Xyz summon, the Xyz monster gains the following effect. When this card is Xyz summoned, you target one Hexman monster in your graveyard. Attached to this card is Xyz material. You know, very good card to run. Um, good way to get extra material onto your monsters, Xyz monsters, or even sometimes necessary material depending on the monster. Um, you know, the effect does stack, so say you use two Hydra, you know, you get to add two, attach two, uh, haste limbs to your monster as a material. Anyway, so let's go to the extra monster here, that's Haste and Bastard Choice. 2900 attack, 1800 defense, requires two at least, the maximum of five, because you can choose, use up to five monsters on your Haste Limb, five monsters inside the field as a material, as long as you level six fire. Uh, you can detach a material from it to banish one monster. Your opponent controls. Monster card. Hold on, let me just double check here. Uh, what monster you, that your opponent controls are in the graveyard and banish it. Um, also, you can fix this number of these materials you have. Uh, three or more gains 200 attack and defense for each of these material. Three or more. No, I already said three more. Three more is where I gained two effect. Sorry, four more cannot be targeted by your other card effect, by your opponent's card effects. Five or more, sorry, just five, not five or more, it's not number eight, six. Uh, five, uh, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. And when it has five materials, you know, it's a 35 much beater. So it's a boss monster of a hazy flame. And, you know, if you can get a five material bass strikes on the field, or just get bass strikes up to five materials, it's going to be pretty scary for your opponent to get over it. Get around it. Um. Oh, yeah, it's Hydra. Let me talk about more things, but another card we now have access to. Um, thanks to that Hate Swim Hydra, because he's a dinosaur, we actually have access to another rank 6, because his names are rank 6 spam. And that is Evil Sol Zara Solda. Uh, pretty good evil, so evil monster. You know, it's fire attribute, so Hydra can bring it out, and Hydra's the only way you're going to be able to bring it out, because. You know, it requires two level six dinosaur type monsters, which Hydra fulfills. Um, 2600 attack. Uh, as long as it has a fuse material, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. And when your opponent ex uh, summons, well, special summons a monster, you can detach and seize from this card to destroy that monster. Again, this card is actually pretty beast. Uh, particularly since with Hydra, you actually can get a four material sold on the field. Again, you know, pretty boss monster to bring out with uh, Hydra. Uh, Bath Trice is another one, because you use Hydra to bring up Bath Trice, you can get a 4 or 5 material Bath Trice easily. And that's all you really want to get with Bath Trice, because it's fifth effect, because it doesn't say 5 or more. If you manage to get a 6 material onto it somehow, whether it's with the card Hazy Pillar, or, you know, you use Hydra somehow to get more than 5 to get a 6 material, it loses the effect that it cannot be destroyed by card effects. So, be careful about that with Bath Trice. Anyway, let's go into the things you really need that Hastings really rely on. Um, Pillar and Glory. These, this continuous spell and continuous trap are the things that Hastings, that Hastings really need to survive. Uh, both allow you to normal summon them without, you know, for all this tribute, which level 6 monsters, so no tribute. Um, Hazy Pillar lets you attach a Hastings monster to an Aziz monster you control as a material from your, as long as the Hastings monster, you know, if the hasty it's basically a hasty monster from your hand or you just on a field to it as a material. Pretty powerful effect, nice way to, you know, beat you know, to give extra uses to your Z's monsters effects. Um Glory. Glory is a quick like effect, you know, kinda like infestation you know, like infestation infection, which if you don't know what quick like effect is, uh yeah, it's basically where you can it basically resolves mainly on continuous traps where you can actually activate their effect you know, the same turn you actually activate the card itself, um, or even you can actually actually activate the card in response to certain things happening. 
Like, you ever face up Hazy Glory or Infestation Infection on your side of the field, your opponent chooses them as Tiet. You can uh, use their effect, or you know, your opponent activates Bottomless Response to you summoning something. You can use their effect. So again, you know, good card. Uh, what's, well, the effect of it that makes it a quick effect is that you can actually send Hazy Glory to the graveyard to add another Hazy card except Hazy Glory from your graveyard to your hand. You know, um, yeah, these are the two cards you really rely on for the deck. Um, really necessary. Because uh, you've got like three monsters now in Hazy Flames that have 200 defense. You can use your Kindling to bring out your Hippogriff, your Cerebus, your Hydra from the graveyard. You've got Flambell Fire Dog to special summon from your deck. You know, and it's also a good level 4 monster that you can use, that you can use to tribute some of them if you have to. Because, um, not to mention they're all fire. Uh, blasters available to the deck. Um, we got it. So, there's actually a fair bit of cards, you know, that we actually have now for the deck. Um, that uh, you can use, uh, Onslaught of the Fire Kings to bring out, you know, a good bit of your monsters. Because, uh, Cerebus, Manicore, um, Sphinx and Griffin are beast, these warrior and moon beast types. You know. Which on Sonic Vikings lets you bring out. Uh so on Sonic Vikings is a good card to use with them. Um what's another one? Oh I know it. Soul Charge, um, good way to get going is pretty quick XVs. Uh, the only monster you can't bring back with Soul Charge would be your Peridon, but it needs to when you can get up to five monsters on the field. You know, and Soul Charge and Kindle in the same deck is actually pretty sc can actually be pretty scary. Um, but, you know, let's talk about some doubts that the deck that I personally have to really talk about. Uh, I don't think the deck is good enough to really be topping at every event and to really, like, take the world by storm. At least not um, so I don't think Hate Slings can really do it themselves. I think with the right support, potentially, like, maybe with some Fire Kings, but not necessarily all, or, you know, people building them with Heretics, because Heretics really support the deck, sometimes, really support Hazy Flames. Um, you know, no, one of the reasons why is because, you know, you're running a lot of level 6 monsters. And I do mean a lot, based on your build. Uh, you're going to be running at least Cerebus, Peridon, Sphinx, because, you know, at least probably Sphinx, and, you know, Hydra, because Hydra's too good. Um, and that's like four level six monsters. You're going to run like three Peridons, three Cerebus, and at least like two Hydra, and two Sphinx. At least, um, so, you know, the deck, the deck gets full of high level monsters um, that really, really rely on their spell and draft cards to be able to summon them. Yeah, you, know, you have to rely a lot on these two cards in order to be able to bring out your in order to be able to bring out your monsters. Um, without them, you're not gonna be able to bring out your, you know, and you know, as soon as you activate them, your opponent's probably gonna target them with MST, with MST, and if you run out of, you know, these two cards, then your hatred flames kind of die. Um, you know, that's one of the other, that's one of the bad things you have to say with the deck. Uh, Rivalry of Warlords will stop it because um, Hate Slims actually have a wide variety of types. You know, you've got Dinosaur, you've got Beast, Wing Beast, Beast Warrior, Pyro. So, you know, Rivalry of Warlords can put the deck to a halt. Um, DNA Transplants can put a deck to a halt because they'll just change your attributes to non fire. You know, um, not going to hurt your deck a good bit. You know, Battle Trace requires fire monsters. You've got, you know, Hydra on the field. You can only bring out fire monsters. Only special summon fire monsters now. Um, but... You know, you don't only have fire monsters in the field to bring out your basil traits. Um, DNA surgery can hurt it sometimes, you know, because they can stop you from bringing out some monsters. Um, those are the main issues with the deck. Um, another thing is... People have to... Um, be careful about going into... Uh, about attacking too eagerly, 
I mean, yes, your cards can't be targeted, so things like D-Prison aren't a problem, but... Mirror Force is. Um, again, the deck relies a lot on your solid traps. Uh, the deck... You know, a lot of high-level monsters, so your hand can dead draw, because you can take on around three pillars, like three glories, and you like get nothing but, like, your parried on in your hand, you know, no pillar, no glory, uh, you know, without your, if you don't get a Cerebus in your hand, uh, you're going to be pretty much sunk. Um, Crimson Blader will stop a deck in its tracks, period. And uh, Crimson Blader can get over most of these monsters, and, you know, once it does, you're you're pretty much done. You know, the only chance you get is to dark, grab Dark Hole or Blaster to blast Crimson Blader off the field. And, like, that's just your only hope. Um, so again, you know, the deck, the archetype is good, I think it is underrated, um, you know, it's actually cheap to buy, because, you know, the highest rarity of the main cards of them are rare, um, like, some of the other cards you might want to bring out, you know, what, you know, use in it, like, Petroleum 7, uh, Solder, uh, again, Art, uh, Blaster, are are not too cheap, um, but, again, um, the deck's the main are Hastings themselves are cheap. Uh, I think they're good. I don't think they're gonna be like you know the best because I'm I'm realistic. I'm I like them, but I'm not. But I'm realistic. Um, yeah, the deck does well, but does have consistency issues. Okay. That's tip four. Um, I know the video went a little long. But there was a full on discussion. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Hopefully next time it'll be a shorter video. Uh, anyways, uh, tell me what you like about his. Tell me what you think about his themes. Are do you think they are underrated? Um, what archetypes do you think are underrated? Um, what video do you want to see me do next? Uh, this is Black Brother sixty twenty one. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and out.